How's it going everybody? I'm Daniel, this is Daniel Tech and I'm back with another video for you guys of course today is Sunday and today I wanted to make something pretty special I'm sorry for the echo, that's pretty bad uh, but I wanted to make something pretty special today so I decided to make a video that is going to be very very useful alright so that is how to save battery life on your iPhone 6, 6s, 6 Plus, 6 Plus S and even iPhone 5 or 5S, right? So any device that is running iOS 9. Okay, I know that we have the feature called low power mode and that helps already a lot, but alone it's not enough, you know? Uh, I have another 12 tips, actually 14 tips apart from that, that I'm gonna show you. Uh, half of those I'm gonna show you today and half of those I'm gonna show you next week. Uh, hopefully if you like it, I'm gonna make, as I, as I said, a part one and a part two anything that is, it will be very interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, please make sure to watch the full video and watch the next video on the other Sunday so then you have all the tips to make the, your battery life last a lot more, all right? I guarantee this will increase your battery life at least by 30 or 40%, okay? So let's go ahead and get started right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, first of all, obviously, we have to use the feature that Apple developed itself. So that is low power mode. So you have to go to settings, scroll down to battery, and then you put on low power mode, okay? As you guys can see in the description, it temporarily reduces power consumption until you can fully charge your iPhone. When this is on, mail fetch, background app refresh, automatic downloads and some visual effects are reduced or turned off okay so this automatically already helps you a lot by cutting a lot of the features and a lot of the a lot of the use uh, of the battery of the phone and as you guys can see it already put my auto lock to one minute or even less than that so in, in a few seconds the screen already dims so that uh, can help quite a lot in reducing the power consumption Okay, so that is the big thing. Now let's go to the other key features that will actually make the difference. So right after that, we have uh, internet. So go to settings again, and this time we're gonna go to cellular, voice and data, and then turn off 4G, okay? 4G, as you guys know, is the fastest uh, connection that the iPhone supports and it obviously being the fastest means that it drains a lot of battery so you can also put uh, you can obviously put to 3g or even 2g but really 2g is just very slow so put to 3g because if you are in need if you really need to help uh, if, you need, if you really need to save some battery life 3g will already help a lot and it is not so slow so that's the second tip and it's also very good Okay, something that a lot of people don't think about is the health app, okay? It actually drains a lot of battery capturing and recording all your data uh, regarding your fitness and regarding your motion. So even if you don't use any uh, other accessories, Bluetooth accessories or uh, uh, heart rate monitoring, Apple Watch or anything like that, but just by default, you have the health app recording your motion and recording your fitness. So you have to go to settings and then privacy and then motion and fitness right here, the last one. And then once you're here, you see fitness tracking. So mo motion and fitness allows apps to access sensor data, including body motion, step count, stairs climbed and more. Okay. So again, if you actually need to reduce or uh, increase your battery life, you just turn off fitness track and it will turn off. All of that tracking. As you guys could see on mine, we had ways, and that is a navigation app. You probably know it. So it records the motion of the car, and that also drains a lot of battery. So that was tip number three. Now moving on to tip number four. Uh, this was automatically put when we put low power mode. But if you don't want to put your whole phone in low power mode, uh, you can also do this. So this is regarding mail, contacts, and calendar. Okay, so right now it is switched off again because of the low power mode that I just put in the beginning of the video. But you may have your mail always pushing data, and if you want to actually uh, take turn it off, you can go as I, as I showed you uh, gen settings, mail, and contact, and in the fetch new data app tab, 
you can just turn it off the push so it means it is not always pushing information and downloading things in the background downloading your emails and everything else so again since it is in low power mode it is automatically turned off so that helps a lot but again you can you can do this without putting the low power mode and that is already a big help after this we have something that is really interesting and that is uh, background apps okay most of the apps in the background and you can see right here a lot of apps in the background uh, most of these apps they don't consume a lot of battery but some applications like Waze that we were seeing before uh, let me just open it up to show you so if you have Waze open and it's probably gonna start doing its thing as you guys can see we have right here uh, the GPS little arrow right that is tracking my GPS and tracking my information and where I am my location even though the app is closed in the background so have a look at this icon right here that is the GPS icon indicator so even though I'm using something else for example I'm on my phone I'm doing something it is still there so what you have to do is actually open it up uh, actually go to the uh, multitasking bar so just uh, double click on the home button and then uh, kill ways so by doing that as you guys can see the little icon disappeared and that means that it is not tracking my location anymore it is not tracking my location so it again helps a lot save battery life uh, and last but not least for today is something that is very very interesting so that is if you go to settings and you go to battery again only available in iOS 9 sorry uh, battery so you can see it is already in the low power mode but below here you can see battery usage okay so right here you have the applications that use most battery so right here we have the consumption in the last 24 hours by percentage of the apps that use most battery so it is interesting to have a look here, analyze, see if you have some applications that you actually don't use or you actually not using a lot, but it's draining on the background and see what you can do about it. You can actually turn them off. You can just reanalyze what you're doing with your phone and see that you're using uh, quite a lot of social media and that you're using quite a lot of, in my case, WhatsApp. Uh, stuff like that and then you can actually delete those applications or just manage a little bit more if you if your battery is low and you think all right I need it for a couple more hours so I'll just stop using that application because it drains a lot of battery so this is very good for this this is very educational and it's very good so you can think about your battery usage and it generally helps okay so with uh, let's finish the talking okay uh, these this is the first part of my battery uh, my tips to reduce your uh, to increase actually I'm sorry your battery life okay so by doing this I, as I said in the beginning of the video I guarantee that your battery life is just gonna be much much better so again this is the part one this is the part one I will post the part two uh, two weeks for now and I really hope you like it and if you do please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel I will be posting new videos every other Sunday and uh, it really helps me out a lot guys so let me know what you think if you're liking the videos, if you're liking the way my channel's going and everything else, I really appreciate and I really love seeing your feedback. Okay, uh, see you later. Bye-bye.